You can turn any of the default Procreate brushes into a modern calligraphy brush in three steps. Before we get into how to make the modern calligraphy brush, let's just do a quick crash course on what makes a calligraphy brush so special. The most important thing about a calligraphy brush is that it's pressure sensitive, which means that depending on the amount of pressure you use, it will create different strokes. So the more pressure that you use, it would give you thicker lines. The less pressure that you use would give you thinner lines. Upstrokes use less pressure and downstrokes you use more pressure. Really, really important to note that regardless of if you have the best calligraphy brush, either digitally or physically, you will not get the best effect unless you practice these strokes. So practice writing with different pressures. If you want to go a little bit more in depth in that, I have a video about that as well, which I will be linking somewhere here. First, you'll have to choose the brush to make into a modern calligraphy brush. So you're free to obviously choose any of the brushes. I might just stray away from ones that are more so for stamps. For example, this paper daisy here might not give you the best effect for a modern calligraphy brush. I've decided to choose the watercolor brush. You'll notice that this brush is a, a little bit already pressure sensitive, but again, the goal is to make it a modern calligraphy brush. So we are gonna apply the three simple steps. Make sure you always duplicate your brush so you always have the original handy. Click that duplicate and it will open the drawing studio. You'll notice that there's a drawing pad. What this allows you to do is to see any of the changes that you make to the brush settings real time and how it affects the brush. Step one, go to stabilization and increase the streamline to around 80 to 90%. Play around with the stabilization amount because this actually gives you pretty smooth lines and it helps your lettering. So I would say around 40 to 50% would be a good amount. Step two is you go to Apple Pencil and you increase the pressure size to the max. Step three is you go to Properties and you play around with the max and the minimum size. Now, the most important thing is to make sure that the max size is always more than the minimum size. Here, I'm just gonna reduce the max size to around this amount. Um, you can always play around with it again once you start lettering and uh, keep it to whatever you prefer. Click done once you're done and now let's start lettering with it. Second one, it's just way smoother. You see the difference between the thinner and thicker lines more and it just gives you a way better brush to do modern calligraphy in. Let me do another example for you just to see that it could be applied to another brush as well. Here I'm using the round brush. So again, go to stabilization, increase the streamline to around 80 to 90%. And for smoother lines, which I highly suggest you do, you increase the stabilization to around 40 to 50%. Go to Apple Pencil and increase the pressure size to the max. And then go to properties and play around with the max and the minimum size. Again, make sure that the max size is always significantly bigger than the minimum size. And there you go. You can actually see the difference for this brush even more because this brush was not really pressure sensitive that much. And so you really see that we really created a modern calligraphy brush here. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for future content and also share with any of your digital lettering friends. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.